Comic DF. What is up, besties? It is your girl, the Karmic DF, back to you again with another video. And this time, we are going to take a look at Bermuda Triangle and what's really going on. And y'all, I've already done the video. And it went in a direction I did not expect. I had an expectation. I put that to the side. And then what happened is wild. So, as always, if you guys enjoy these readings, please give it a like. It really does support my channel. It helps other people find me. Also, if you could fill in any of the gaps for me, please leave it down in the comments down below because I'm more confused after than before. Um, if you'd like, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Links are all down below. If you'd like to book a personal reading, links are all down below. But as always, I hope that you guys enjoy this video. If this is not your type of video, I have a whole pop culture playlist. So go ahead and check that out as well as my self-development videos playlist for that as well. But as always, thank you guys for being here. Hey, my regulars. How are you guys? Love you guys so much. Hope you have a wonderful holiday. But as always, let's get into the reading. All right, bestie. So let's get started. Now, I cannot stop hearing the song Black Widow Baby. And I'm being drawn to like a Black Widow and how a Black Widow kind of goes after its prey. So I'm wondering if there's something to do. Let's pull the cards. I'm going to start with Dark Mirror to see if we could get anything about Bermuda. But I keep hearing like, I keep hearing energetic fields energy fields and what i'm seeing is like like oil and water of how like they don't mix and i'm seeing like cold spot hot spot so like i don't know if they because what i'm seeing is like i keep hearing like ley lines or something like that and a crow just flew by my window as i said that um but i'm seeing like because i took meteorology and i went to school for earth science so i'm seeing like you know how like news shows the storms and it's like two passing energy systems i'm seeing like like energy fields that don't match and then i'm not gonna lie to you i'm seeing a portal so i feel like somewhere in the bermuda triangle allegedly for entertainment purposes only there's like a stream like a jet stream that is what i just heard jet stream i don't know if that makes sense and i'm seeing like two passing airs like cold air you know like you've seen a weather channel before right but somehow Somewhere where the energy shifts, the, the air changes, I'm seeing like where there's a shift, there's a portal. I don't, I don't know what, what that means. <laughs> like For someone who took earth science, I'm kind of drawing a blank here myself. But it's giving me like somewhere where there's a shift. I'm hearing magnetic fields. So somewhere there's a shift in the magnetic field. There's a shift in where the air meets up. And somewhere in there is like a, a portal is formed. If that makes any freaking sense. I just keep seeing that. All right, let's give this two more shuffles here. Spirit, what can we know about the Bermuda Triangle? I definitely believe it's real. You know what I'm seeing? This is so weird, but I'm seeing like, um, what is it? Like the Loch Ness Monster. But like if the Loch Ness Monster had a hand and went up from the water and grabbed and brought it down. That's what I'm seeing. I don't know what the hell that means. It's just like I'm seeing like if the Loch Ness Monster had hands. Because it's giving me like, I'm seeing like a scene for, oh God, what is that movie? Godzilla, I think, where like Godzilla goes up and he grabs the plane from the sky and brings it down. That's what I'm seeing in my mind's eye. So is it possible? Because, oh my God, for anyone who's seen the movie Avengers, um, where they create like a portal and then like aliens come down from the sky. It's kind of giving me that where it's like there's a portal here and I can reach through the portal and grab something and bring it back down. And then I'm being drawn back to Godzilla and how he brings, how he grabs an airplane and brings it back down. That's what I'm seeing. It's really weird. Is it possible that there's something, that there's like an energy field opening that's like a portal, a gateway into like, because you know what this feels like? It feels like, this is going to sound so weird. It feels like there is advanced aquatic life, but this is going to go so far, conspiracy, y'all. I'm so sorry. So if you're not into conspiracy, go check out my pop culture playlist. Um, it, it's all there. Um, but it's giving me like, I live here, but I don't live here. You know how there's like a theory that like, 
I don't know if anyone's ever heard of this. I don't know how far y'all go down the rabbit hole. But there's a theory that like fairies, for instance, they might exist, but they didn't they didn't get along with humans. And so they kind of like shield themselves. So they're sort of here, but they're not. Or like, for instance, spirit, right? Like we know spirits here, but we can't see them because they're here, but they're not. It's kind of giving me that vibe. Like, is it possible that something lives in the ocean? But we can't see it or we don't know about it, but it comes through some sort of portal and grabs people. I know what this sounds like. I know it sounds nuts, but this is what I'm seeing. It's like I'm seeing something coming out of the water and grabbing a plane. But then I'm being drawn back to Godzilla and how Godzilla could like grab the plane from the air and bring it back down to where he was. So I feel like there's something about like I can come through, grab what I want and bring it to me from where I live. If that makes sense. This is so bizarre. All right, let's go. Okay. 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 Guys, I'm not going to lie. This feels like... This is going to be so... Con Put your tinfoil cats... Tinfoil hats on. Caps on. This is going to get wild. Uh, this feels like... I'm hearing the word ostracized. I've been ostracized. So whatever this is, they don't feel like they could be a part of what we are. I thought I was just going to learn about portals. I'm, I'm going to be real with you. I didn't know I was going to get into things or mythology. Um, but this feels like something that's been cast out. So either like, I'm hearing hunted. So like, is it possible that at one point in time we were after a species and maybe... Now we believe it's not real. It's myth, myth based now, or like maybe we thought it was alive and now we don't believe it's alive, but it could be like, it's giving like Loch Ness monster, but we've once knew that the Loch Ness monster, we knew for a fact it was real. And now it's more of a myth. I don't know if it's actually the Loch Ness monster, if that's just a really good example, because it's from the water and I'm being drawn to my aquamarine crystal as I'm talking about this. So I feel like it's like a, like a. There's something that lives in the water. <laughs> like, I don't know how else to explain this. But I almost feel like it can't be seen by the naked eye. And there's something else along with why they can connect with us. And it has something to do with how jet streams mix. Like, isn't it... Like, don't they say that, like, like airplanes get hit with like storms or something? It feels like there's like... Because I'm seeing like a, a hurricane and it's like... Our people know better than to go in this specific area. So has has there not been any more wreckages recently? Because I haven't looked at this theory in a long time. But has it kind of stopped? Like now are things cool? Like people can travel in and out of there just fine? Because it almost feels like there's a specific area where energy streams meet that creates some sort of connection from one dimension to another. I hear it, but that's what I'm seeing. And so it feels like, we were once connected to whatever this is, but they've been ostracized for some re reason. Because here, atonement in reverse, and anybody who's followed me for enough knows that this reminds me of the Ten of Swords. So it's like a backstabbing, you you did me wrong, this part of this journey's over. And notice how it kind of looks like there's water in her hand. There's something in the water. <laughs> like I'm seeing Jaws. I'm seeing movies about water life. There's something in the water. And this is downcast pride. It's like, I'm, I'm not, it's like you guys ostracized us. And so we created a, yeah, I'm hearing the song, a whole new world in my head. So we created a world of our own that you're not invited to. It's like, I'm seeing like the scene from Mean Girls where it's like, you can't sit with us. So maybe, maybe we hunted their species. Maybe we hunted a cousin to their species. Cause I'm being drawn to the show resident alien where his cousin is an octopus, but he's an alien. But his cousin's an octopus, an octopus would be in water. So is it possible that it's a it's like a cousin twice removed or a cousin of something that we know is real? But like this feels more if E.T. was in the water. That's the only way I know how to describe this. And it's like you guys you guys removed us and so we created a world of our own that's outside of you but there feels like there's resentment towards the human race so it's kind of this vibe of like because i'm seeing like area 51 and like um like if you go past this place you'll get killed like you don't have rights past this point it's kind of given that same vibe it's like 
you can't sit with us. I just keep hearing you can't sit with us. And then I'm seeing the triangle. And then it's like somewhere in there, there's a portal. And if you go in that portal, you're, you're shit out of luck because we're going to grab your plane. I don't know what this is. It's so weird, but that's what I'm getting. Temple of my own body. We don't give a shit about you because you didn't care about us. Like, I feel like people have had problems with these beings in the past. It's giving like, like a long time ago. Like, I'm not... I'm not saying like early 1900s. I'm saying like the fall of Atlantis, maybe, maybe Atlantis civilization. I don't, I don't buy that. It's like today's humans. In fact, like I, I would almost guesstimate that this would be around a time where they said civilization didn't exist yet, but it did. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. It, it's kind of given like if you watched my Atlantis reading, it's kind of like that. It's like there was a power struggle. We removed ourselves from it. We don't like people because of how they treated us. Like, because I'm being shown Avatar and how people chose, like, land and destruction and money over being one with. There's something that. There's something with a portal. Yep. Yeah, fated to suffer in the reverse. It's like we hurt them. And so now it's like we live here now. You can't come in our space. And if you do, all bets are off. Like, I just keep seeing Area 51. So this is weird already. Um, I kind of just thought it'd be like, it's a portal and you disappear into the portal. But apparently I'm seeing like, um, like a war, not really like a, a war war, but like a war between a species and us. Like we, I just keep hearing the word ostracized. So I don't know exactly how that plays. I'm going to use my haunted house deck and we will go from there. Legit guys, like, you know how you're at a pool party, right? And you're playing... I don't know, like you're playing football in the pool, right? But it's like a, a pool type of football. And you like jump out of the water to catch the to catch the ball and then you come back down. That's what I'm seeing. It's like something comes out of the water through a portal and grabs a plane. <laughs> like, I, I don't know what the hell that is. But there's something to do with like, I'm going to get you because you got me. It's like getting the people. It's like... I'm hearing the word reparations. It's like, you did us wrong. We got ostracized into this place and you can't sit with us now. You're not welcome here because you couldn't play nice. And so now we're not going to play with you. That's, that's the vibe. And it's like, I just keep seeing someone jumping out of the water and grabbing a plane and bringing it back down. I don't know what the hell that means. All right. What do the cards have to say? Justice wasn't served. Knight of Swords. Is that a person? Or, uh, sorry. Um, yeah, Knight of Swords. Huh. Is it possible that there's like an advanced civilization in a different place? Remember how earlier I said I saw a crow? There's something here about like we created our own happiness because we couldn't get along with people. So we saved ourselves. This is really bizarre. I feel like there, there was a time in history where we knew about whatever this aquatic life is. It's given me like, like I'm seeing the second avatar where there's like beings that, that are, they're aquatic, but they're also human. So could this be a human aquatic hybrid or something like that? Or is it just like a species? Maybe that's why I'm seeing like cousins. Like remember how I saw octopus and alien that show? It's kind of given like, because like, I'm hearing like twice removed on your cousin's sister side. Like that's what I'm hearing. It's like twice removed on your cousin's sister side. So is it possible that we're related? Wait a second. Could this be like mermaids and shit? Is that possible? Could this be like a mix of like human fish? <laughs> like, I, I hear it. I hear it. But I, I just feel like it's something that we used to know existed. I feel like it, it's been thrown out of history. If we have if we have knowledge of this, it's it's mythological. That's that's how we'll know it exists. It's mythological. It's it's not something that we would be like, oh, it, it's currently extinct, and we knew for a fact it existed. It's not that. It'd be like it'd be in your mythology books. But it's like we couldn't get along with the people. They were very, I'm hearing like jump scares. So maybe we were afraid of them. Maybe we didn't fully understand what they were. And so, yeah, because I'm seeing like how alien movies like make you afraid of aliens. It's kind of given that. It's like maybe we had folklore that was like these things are dangerous. And so we couldn't actually 
get close to them and so they created a world of their own because I'm hearing like a whole new world and I'm seeing like under yeah the song under the sea that's from the mermaid movie what the hell is this about mermaids is this mermaids spirit team is this mermaids something like that it's something like mermaids this is weird avoiding conflict walking on eggshells I feel like whatever this is, they watch us, but they they feel they feel more docile is is the word that I would use. They're they're more docile, um, but they watch us because they're it's like we wanted to coexist with you, but there was too much conflict. I'm seeing like wars and stuff. So maybe this was a time when we were you know more three D based than five D, and it's like I I see like. How do I explain? This is so weird. I'm having such a hard time. Um, but I'm seeing like some, like I'm I'm being put into the creature. So I'm looking around and I'm seeing, like I'm seeing war everywhere. I'm seeing humans fighting. I'm seeing beheading. So that might tell you what time of era this was. Um, but it's like, I'm looking at this and now I'm grabbing my friends and family. And now we're walking into the water and we're not coming back. That's the vibe. Like, I don't know what the hell that means, but it's like, they weren't interested in the fights and the the bullshit that it's just like we'll create something of our own then it's like they have an issue with us but it's it's not unfounded because i think we had a conflict with them or maybe their cousins i don't know <laughs> this is so bizarre y'all i'm so sorry but this is what i'm seeing there's something about an energy stream that creates a portal and something's in the water and this is so fucking conspiracy. Excuse my language. Um, let's move on. Yeah, it's like we had a choice to make. We walk away from you guys. I feel like something created a world and it was an agreement too. But I'm hearing like the song parents just don't understand, but I'm being shown like the gov. And it's like, I'm hearing like we told you this would happen. So I think originally, like, whatever this was, I feel like this was, okay, this is going to sound so weird, but I don't know how else to explain what I'm seeing. And I I don't know, yeah, whatever. If, if this is not your type of video, just move on, please. Um, but what I'm seeing is, like, I feel like this was a time where, because I feel like I'm being tapped into a time when this, whatever this was, it cut off ties from humanity. I'm being drawn to that specific time frame. So not so much what was going down when things were... I feel like the beginning was pretty much that. I feel like I'm getting a story as to what happened to create whatever's going on today. So I'm seeing like... I feel like this was a time where telepathy was more developed. Because it's almost like I'm you, you're me, I can understand you, you can understand me, we're all one. I feel like this was a time... This might coincide with Atlantis somehow because I'm being hella drawn to Atlantis. So if anybody knows if... Could Atlantis be under the Bermuda Triangle or, like, could people that were Atlanteans, like, were they also... Could they swim and, like, maybe now they've settled down in a portal that's somehow underneath the Bermuda Triangle? I don't know, y'all. I really don't know. But I'm just getting, like... There's telepathy involved. We were of the land. People got their their heads too big. We can't we can't be with you guys anymore. You cause conflict. How do we, how do we create something for ourselves where we can coexist but not coexist? We've agreed upon this. This is my place. Yeah, cuz I'm hearing the song this land is your land, this land is my land. So originally, we coexisted and then eventually it's like we scared them off. And then we agreed, like, okay, we'll stay over here in the water. This is where we belong. It's giving Avatar the second movie. Like, I don't know how else to explain this. It's like, you know how Avatar, like, they had to run away from their place, and so they went towards these people that were half human, half fish? That's the fucking vibe. Like, I'm going to get in trouble for swearing so much, but I don't, I don't know how else to describe this. It's so bizarre. It's like, we don't get along with your kind anymore, so we have to make a place of our own. And it was agreed upon. And, the, and it wasn't really necessarily just like it's like why do we have to move where the problem like notice how the justice scales aren't even I'm being drawn to how like we shouldn't have been the ones to have to go like you guys are the problem not us but it's like we can't have calmness where you are so we have to move so I feel like this is because I keep being drawn to Columbus and I'm like what the fuck does Columbus have to do with this and I swear like so many times I need to stop but it's like what the hell does Columbus have to do with this but now I'm being drawn to how like he took land so this almost feels like humans taking land, 
something else not feeling safe with us. And so they move into the water because they can breathe and potentially breathe in water too. Because I'm again, I'm being drawn to the to the show Resident Alien. And if you're a star seed or empath, if you resonate with that, the show's on Peacock. It's really freaking good. Um, but of course, it got canceled. But anyway, it's a sci-fi show. But he has like gills in his neck, so he can breathe underwater and he can breathe air. So it's kind of giving me that. It's this is so. Fr I thought I'd be talking about portals. I have no idea what I'm talking about now. This is so weird. Yeah, it's like a very quick change, pulling my energy back, pouring myself into the water because you guys can't be trusted. They feel like we were emotionally manipulative. And so they had to abruptly remove themselves from us and hide, go into hiding. I feel like they went into hiding. This is the moon card. I feel like they went into hiding. But again, I just keep seeing like Godzilla jumping up and grabbing an airplane and bringing it down to him. So I wonder if these like airplanes that disappeared and we never saw them again was because something literally jumped out of the water, grabbed it, pulled it down into wherever the hell it is. That That's the only way I can describe this. The home in reverse. Queen of Swords getting unstuck. Yeah, it's like we had an agreement. We had an arrangement. You guys are calculated. We don't feel safe in this environment. And instead of trying to make it work, we just created something for ourselves. I just feel like, I feel like we screwed them over somehow. I don't know what this is, who or what, or but this just feels like this was in a different time. It's not in our textbooks. It's not in our history books. This would probably fall into a mythology book, but it's something to do with, because I'm, I'm being drawn to this Queen of Swords and it's like, you acted lovely. But then you had a sharp tongue. You acted like you had my best interest at heart. But notice how she's studying, but actually looking at the person. It's like, you're two-faced. Like, that's the vibe of this. It's like, we, humans were messed up. Maybe we were trying to kill them. Maybe, maybe they are part fish and maybe we wanted to eat them. I don't really know. But there's some sort of being, which I didn't expect. I really just thought it'd be like a portal, an accidental portal or something. But there's some sort of being involved in this portal that's on the other side of the portal or... Or it feels like a portal, but it, I, y'all, I don't freaking know. Tell me what you know in the comments. This is boats. Anxiety. Tension. Boats. Anxiety. Tension. This would be tension usually between two people, but this feels like tension between our, our beings and you guys. It's like, because I keep hearing the song, this land is your land, this land is my land. But it's like, no, that's your land. We're going to stay over here. But if you come where we are, we, we don't... It, it's kind of giving, like... Because what I'm seeing in my mind's eye now is, like... Like Antarctica, for instance. Like, um, like at a certain point, I believe I'm getting this right. Maybe I got the place wrong. But there's something about how, like, there's certain places where... After a certain point, it's kind of like at your own risk. You know what I mean? Where like basically you don't have rights anymore. Like we're not going to come for you. If you call 911, you're, SO, you're SOL. It's kind of giving that. It's like if you come into this area, you're not protected. So that brings me back to a question I asked in the beginning. Has there been issues as of the past 10, 20 years? Because it almost feels like the people that are in charge know about this. And it's like course correction. We don't, we don't allow this anymore so okay what okay this is gonna sound really weird this feels like there's two things going on we have a pressure system that's going on around there so there is a pressure system there so i feel like some planes i feel like that's why they get out of there or they're destroyed but you find them it's because there is something going on in terms of weather because i'm being drawn to like magnetic fields and i'm seeing like compasses that are all of a sudden like you're it's supposed to be north but now it's flipping out and it says southeast and it's like that's wrong why and like all of a sudden everything in my in my i don't spirit do you, any chance you could give me a word i don't actually know cockpit is that right cockpit 
the 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 board on the airplane thing you know i'm hearing cockpit i don't know what that means uh i hope that's something um but it's like i'm seeing all the pieces and the engine's getting messed up and the the speedometer is going crazy and the compass is going crazy and it has something to do with weather systems and pressure something to do with that there's like a magnetic field that shifts and it, and it messes up and so at one point the plane can't fully direct itself because of an energy field there's a pressure system energy field something jet stream something like that i just keep seeing this it's like there's two pathways here but something in there there's a portal so sometimes you get through because you didn't touch the portal it's like you know how the bermuda triangle is a triangle right it's like this big we'll go with that right well somewhere in here is a portal so if you go around these edges, you're not going to get into it, but you might have damage because, again, there's that magnetic field thing happening. But somewhere it's like, because I'm hearing the perfect storm. So somewhere there's a perfect storm where a portal's made in the middle of this triangle. I hope that makes sense. So the people that get out of this, the people that can still go through, it's because they don't go into this little section. There's a section. I, I know this sounds weird, but I keep hearing bullseye and I'm seeing part of a triangle and it's like, don't go here. It's like, do not enter. So there's something there. I'm hearing ley lines. So maybe it's something to do with latitude and longitude, but it's like somewhere where the air meets cold air and hot air, maybe cold air and hot air streams. I don't know, but that's where the, the ships and the, the planes get all sorts of off. But the reason some of them make it out is because they didn't hit the portal. They only hit the streams. Does that make sense? I hope this is making sense. This is the only way I know how to explain it. But I'm being drawn again to the two, is, two of wands where usually it's like the friction between two people, but it's giving me the friction of the energy streams. And if you go into the portal that's near these energy streams, it's like a do not enter. Higher ups know about this. It's why they don't, they don't, I feel like they don't go over there anymore. There's a specific area. It's, I keep being shown Area 51 and how, like, we're not allowed to go in there. It's the same idea. It's like we lost enough planes to know that this is the area we can't go in. That's, that's the only way I know how to describe it. But I feel like there's been a lot of stories where it's like we went in and then all of a sudden everything started acting weird. Our lights were flickering. Maybe our battery died if we were on a boat. Maybe the engine gave out or something like that. And like all this chaos and energy and everything feels weird, but then we get out of it and either like where we've lost a significant amount of time or we end up somewhere completely far off from where we were. It's because there's this energy field that like shifts and there's a portal that shifts things. It shifts time. It shifts space. Like it's like you, you end up in one place that it's like, how? There's no way I could have got there from here. There's a portal. There's a jet stream. There's something to do here where it's like, it's like the stars align because of the friction of the energy, because of the friction of the the air molecules or something. Something creates a perfect storm that creates a portal that sometimes you either go in and then you'll never get out again, or you go near it and everything goes to chaos. And that's why we can find some of these planes, um, some boats. Because I feel like people have stories where they've gone through and they've come out the other side and they're like, my engine failed and my my time, my scale went off and on. It's something to do with a pressure field and a portal that's created because of this pressure system. Something to do with ley lines, something to do with latitude, longitude. There's something going on here that's science-based that they can vouch for. But what they don't understand is it's like a different level of science that we haven't tapped into yet that creates a portal. I hope that makes sense. That's the best I could do. <laughs> like... Yeah, it's like we used to be seen. We realized you guys were, you were more about physical, tangible things, money, stuff like that. And so we put ourselves into the water and created a different life for ourselves. Because notice how it's like the King of Cups, but like it looks like he's at a pool, right? Like doesn't that look like there's a pool underneath him? So it feels like they created, I know this sounds so weird, but it, this almost gives me multiverse energy. It's like we created another home. This could be why, like, we don't actually know much about the ocean. Maybe we do, like the higher-ups, and that's why they don't really, that's why, like, 90% of it is not explored. It almost feels like it's because other beings live there. Y'all, I hear it. I hear it. 
but it's just with the judgment card, queen of pentacles in reverse, finances in a bad way, manipulation. And so we pulled our energy back and created a life of our own. And I just keep hearing like you can't sit with us. So there is some resentment towards like humans. Yeah, the greedy card. We took our power back is what I'm hearing. 4-4 four, four reminds me of home. You guys were greedy. Maybe we weren't. Because, again, I'm being shown Avatar and, like, how they took down the trees and stuff like that. And it's like, you ruined our home life. You acted like you were there for us with the lovers here. It's like, we thought we had a bond with you. But you were manipulating us in the name of things, in the name of exploration, in the name of money. So maybe we explored that part of the ocean. That could be possible, too. Maybe we were, like, mining for shit. And we destroyed their land. Maybe we got into the water. That could be a possibility too. But it feels more like we coexisted at one point. But we manipulated them. And so they took their energy back. It was like, fine. We, we tried to coexist with you. But you just don't. You're not. Because like, look at how this person's kind of like watching them. It's kind of, That's kind of the vibe. It's like I'm pretending to be your friend. But I'm actually a foe. Yeah, it's like winning it all. Look at that. Anybody that reads tarot, seven of swords in the reverse. It's like winning at all costs. Five of pentacles. I'm abusing my power. And then you're left out in the cold. And we separate. We separate. Two of, two of cups in reverse, a separation. You used us. You took... Look, I know those are spiders, but don't they kind of look like an octopus too? Reminds me of the octopus. Anyway... It's like a, I manipulated you, left you with nothing, and so now we're separated. I feel like humans fucked over whatever this being is. The only way I know how to describe I really thought I was just going to be talking about portals. I have no idea. Look at that. The world in reverse. Knight of Pentacles. Page of Cups in reverse. I think this was a time... When humans were very focused on like, I don't think, I think we were advanced spiritually, but I don't feel like we were advanced um, tangibly, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like there was telepathy going on. I feel like this was more of like an avatar thing. Like we were all connected. We we're all one. And this was a cycle that we had been running for a while that we're in today where it's like we, we value things over caring about one another. And it's, it's that same vibe. It's like. We manipulated through money, through things. I think we had agreements with these beings or something like that. And it's like what you had to offer was bullshit. Page of Cups in reverse. Like it's manipulative. It's not. It's nothing. It's nothing tangible. It's like because I'm hearing the song What Have You Done For Me Lately and it's giving me this vibe of like people milking. It's like, it's like people are the narcissists and the beings are the empath. It's like we were taking advantage of them, milking them for all they had and so they pulled back. They're like, all right. We can't, we can't coexist with, with humans anymore. I'm hearing the song, you're not the boss of me now and you're not so big. So it's like they, they took their energy back from us. I feel like we coexisted with some being that I have no idea what the hell it is. That, that, that is my final answer here. What is the back deck? Yeah, sadness. Is it possible that this is mermaids? <laughs> I, I don't know if it's just like, I mean, we don't know so much about living aquatic life, period. But I just, I'm being drawn to this queen energy and it's just kind of giving me the vibe of like, uh, it's just giving me mermaid siren energy. Like queen of wands, that's a beautiful woman, but that's manipulation. It's at the back of the deck with sadness. So it's like, so maybe they lure us to our deaths. Maybe it's quite literal. Maybe that's what happens. Maybe they come up from out the sea and they grab the airplane and they bring it into their portal and they'll, then the humans that were caught are doomed. I'm not sure. But with death in the reverse, it's giving me a double message of like, again, I think this is a being that is in mythology books because it feels like I'm not dead. I'm not fake. I'm not imaginary. I'm not dead. I'm still here and I'm disappointed in you. It's giving like disappointed father kind of energy. It's like, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. But it's like, if you come into my land, I'm going to get you like you got me because I keep hearing like get got like that's the vibe. So I feel like 
It's kind of given like we have a war that we don't know about <laughs> with a species we don't understand. That's literally the vibe of this. I'm so sorry. Yeah, devil card tower. We had no choice. It broke down. Seven of wands. It's like fighting for my victory. I'm fighting for my place, but it's crumbling down because of ego, because of things, because of want. Like, look at this slavery type of energy. Remember how I was saying it's like humans took advantage? This is the back deck energy. This is the summary of the reading. The summary of the reading is underdog, a falling down of a structure, and kind of enslavement. I mean, this feels quite literal. So I wonder if they, if humans were trying to take over these creatures, trying to take over its land, its resources, something like that. And so it was like, bet, I'm out. You know, that's kind of the vibe. It's like maybe, maybe they just kind of, remember because I saw like they were on the land watching us fall, fail and then they kind of like pulled their energy back and went in the water. It feels more metaphorical. Um, but that's kind of the vibe. It's like we couldn't coexist with you guys. You took advantage of us. We had to fight to defend ourselves. And so we found someplace else to go. We're not happy about it because that's where we wanted to be. But you guys are manipulative. And so we're not dead. We're just over here. And I feel like the higher ups know about this. They know about this portal. They know about it. So I feel like that's why the Bermuda Triangle itself is still being used because there is something about weather and energy fields. And some of it is not a portal, but there's one part that is. And that portal has some f form of species that we screwed over and it had to leave. And so it went underwater. I wonder if this species was originally, maybe it was human, right? And then we couldn't coexist with this form of human. And so it developed the ability to breathe underwater. I don't know because they hide so much shit from us. But that being said, my final takeaway, my final answer is this was something that did coexist with us at one point. We got really selfish and greedy and they found a place of their own and they kind of have this rule where it's like, if you come into our place, don't expect to survive. Yeah, unpleasant memories. We're not going to be naive anymore. Is this the Knight of Wands? Yes, yeah, the Knight of Wands. You guys, are, you guys are abusive. You guys are aggressive. You guys fight. We're not interested in living that life. We want peace. It's giving Atlantis. This could potentially be a form of Atlantis civilization still existing in the water. This could be mermaids. This could be some sort of species I've never heard of. This could be part fish, part human. I'm really not sure. But I'm going to leave it at we coexisted with them at one point in time. But uh, humans were selfish per usual. So I'm going to leave it at that. I, I don't know if you guys are going to be as shocked as I am because I really just expected it to be like an accidental portal and you just show up somewhere else. But this feels like a war that we once had with humans that no longer exist and we kind of like made them feel like they couldn't be here anymore and so they created a civilization of their own allegedly and for entertainment purposes only so i'm gonna leave it at that i hope that this was somewhat informative or enjoyable let me know if you guys enjoyed it by leaving a like let me know in the comments down below if you guys have done research and you know some extra stuff on this that i may not know that could help fill in the gaps um, subscribe if you enjoy this so that you can tell me what you guys want to see in future videos so I can make it happen for you guys. Uh, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Links are all down below. If you'd like to book a personal reading, links are all down below. And as always, appreciate you guys so much. Thank you to my regulars. Love you guys so much. Please join my crew. I love you guys very much, and I will see you guys in my next video. The Comic, the Edit.